Hey everybody, um, welcome to another, I guess you can call it a review. Um, yesterday, I think, was it yesterday or maybe a day before, Komodo um, finally released uh, the final version. They've been working hard on this since, I think about June, um, of Komodo Backup. This is build 3.0, uh, uh, version 3.0, build 96. Uh, you can now get it on, uh, I think the website is backup.komodo.com. And you can go down there and download a copy of it. it it's 100% uh, free. Um, they do offer online storage, but that's uh, something you have to pay for, of course. Um, like anything out there, online storage is tends to be kind of actually pretty expensive. Um, of course, there's other places where you can get unlimited uh, online storage, but they offer their own too. So let me take you to the website here. So they redesigned the website, made it a lot more sleek and everything. If you uh, need to download it, you can just click on the download button here. Um, it gives you a lot of information about the product and whatnot. Uh, user interface, profiles, um, different technologies. Uh, what else here? Uh, you know, it just talks about different things um, about the product. So, like I said, I have a copy of it here. Let's go ahead and install it, see what it looks like. I'll go over some of the features for you. There's nothing really to test here, per se, um, as there is in some other programs. Um, so, they do have a bunch of languages. Um, I forgot to show you that, but they do have a lot, a lot of different languages, too. So that's one nice thing. So we're going to install the program here. And I'm going to pause the video while this is installing. Okay, so... If you want to sign up, it's optional. If you don't, that's fine. You can just hit next here. Now it will uh, reboot the computer because it does install a service. So I will be right back when the computer's done rebooting. Okay, so the computer's restart here, and let's open up the user interface. This is, of course, the uh, new style interface, just like Komodo has uh, been uh, building. And this is the home page if you want to call it that. You have different uh, features up here. You have your settings features. You can pass or protect your settings here. Um, you can integrate right click into it uh, if you want to back something up. Um, and check for updates. You can check for updates too. Uh, it's got an about of course. It has a very extensive uh, help file which is online. Um, I highly recommend this because a lot of uh, backup software tends to be a little bit complicated uh, or some of the things you know you might not understand how it works specifically so I recommend that if you have any problems go to this help documentation somebody probably spent a lot of time writing this so it's probably some kind of intern or something you know um, <laughs> it's usually how it is but um, you have a lot of very well thought out uh, you know documents and things here so you can set it up uh, without you know um, worrying about having problems so uh, you do have a live uh, PC support if you bought that um, you can easily get that uh, it sees it's recommending that uh, uh, they recommend to install Komodo program manager that's uh, the un uninstall utility that they uh, they're working on. Um, you can easily ignore that. So if you go to the backup tab here, it's already got some pre-built profiles. Uh, right here you got a My Document Backup and uh, it backs up My Documents folder and you can decide uh, where you back that up. Um, and it backs it up as a .cbu file which is Komodo Backup file. You can schedule it or you can do it now. It's got a media backup got a user backup which uh, backs up your uh, 
your user profile so it backs up the whole folder you can also do an online backup, a sync backup, uh, browser data, mail, uh, or game saves. Online backup, if you click on that, you, you need to register, of course, and it takes you to um, their online backup registration form. And you can uh, decide on how much space you want to buy. Um, so if you want, you know, 500 gigs, uh, you know, 10 gigs, whatever, you know, 10 gigs for $50 for a year is actually not a bad price. Um, you know, depending on what your needs are, if you're a business or something and you need 500 then, you know, $2,500 might be actually a very reasonable price. So you can do all your stuff there and, and get signed up if you want to. Uh, what else here? Oh, if you click the little down tab here you can make your own backup profile on what you want so you can pick up you can back up your whole partition um, and disk and everything you can uh, clone the disk you can back up everything as a CBU file files and directories you can pick whatever you want registry you can back that up uh, registry entries you can pick specific ones your user folder here so I'll back up everything in your user folder, which is a quick, um, quick way to back up all your your data without having to go and um, set everything up. Your mail accounts, Windows Mail, um, IM, System State. Um, that backs up all your program files, um, program data, Windows. Windows folder, you know, all the fun stuff to make sure that you can restore if you need to. You can do different backups, full, differential, incremental, and it even gives you an explanation what of all what each one of these means, which is nice to see. You can make a new backup or you can choose an existing backup. So if you already have a backup going, you can choose from your computer and you can find that and continue. Um, or you can make a new one and then you can pick um, you know, you can hit next here and then you can pick up where do you want it to be backed up you know that's pretty self-explanatory you can back up to a server if you have a server an FTP server network location um, you can even do backup to a DVD or CD whatever blu-ray um, let's see here you can do different macros compression password protect everything you can split the backup like let's say you're doing it for a DVD you can split up it will automatically split up each backup into 4.7, 8.5, or if you're doing a Blu-ray. You can add your little description here, which will be uh, part of the backup file. Uh, what else? It can, you can exclude different types of files that you don't want to back up. Automatically temp files and back files are uh, excluded. You can um, adjust your usage, your disk usage, in your processor usage. I normally like to have both of these on low so I don't see the backup happening. Uh, what else? It does logs. Um, all the fun stuff. Um, email notification. I mean there's a lot of different things here and you can also, I forgot to show you this, but you can click on this little simple mode and it'll just, it has two steps and makes it even easier. Uh, there's also a little scheduling button down there that uh, lets you schedule on when you want to do it. There's a restore feature built in. Where do you want to restore from? And you can pick and go from there. Um, there's your you can manage your ba uh, your schedule here. Um, if you schedule something, you can see when it's scheduled for the next time. What happened? Um, and everything like that. It'll show you a little list here of all your backups. And of course we have the online backup uh, tab where you can adjust account settings um, and all that fun stuff. There's a little news thing here. Um, if you click on it, it'll take you um, to the website uh, that they have here. So different news things that they have um, you can check them out and read about it and watch the little video. So that's it, really. I've pretty much went through the whole program here. 
Um, I haven't tried it yet. Um, the only problem that I ever had with this program personally, so I don't know if they fixed it or not yet, but it was uh, when I, I run uh, a backup on a second ex second hard drive, and I do a um, sync backup where I sync um, three folders between my backup and um, between the backup and the actual live disk and I set it up so it does that about once a day once every 24 hours and what would happen is even if I had everything set to low I could feel feel it uh, lagging on my computer that was the only problem that I ever had with this I could actually feel it when it started to back up it slowed down my music stopped you know started skipping and so um, I'll give it another try now. I haven't tried it in a while, so I would hope that that's been taken care of. Um, and I don't have, a, I have still have a very, fairly powerful computer, so I hope that that's been improved. Uh, what else? Let me show you here. It does have um, a service. Let me see here where it is. I think it's either that one or no synchronization service there's one so it's like half a meg really not affecting anything really um, that's just running all the time so if you have synchronization set up it does it automatically in the background and you don't have to open up um, the program for it to do it or, or it doesn't have to open up the program it can just do your synchronization so that's it, uh, really. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, definitely give it a try. Lots of features. Um, I mean, compared to some of the other backup programs out there. Um, and also, it's uh, it's free. So you don't have much to lose. You know, if you don't like it, you don't like it. If you like it, you just got a great program for free that works great. So uh, that's it on this review. Um, I'm going to render it and upload it right now so uh, I'll talk to everybody later take care